The Hamas takeover of the Gaza Strip, the establishment of Salam Fayyad's new government and the recent meeting between President Abbas and Prime Minister Olmert reveals an unclear transition within the Palestinian Authority. Suleiman Abudaya, Palestinian political analyst, reveals his thoughts on the situation. To take over the security and military control of the Palestinian territories by the Palestinian uh, security forces, uh, to disarm all the Palestinian militias and to enforce rule of law, uh, which means to have one law, one security, and one, we call it, one weapon. The second one is pushing the Palestinian economy forward. Without, without reaching a, a normal economical situation in the Palestinian territories, uh, in, in regard to the economic relation with Israel, with the Arab neighbors of Palestine and so on, nothing can move. And the third one, to regain normal relationship to the, to the world, to the, to the international community. And I would say these are the three major uh, uh, short time, uh, short term, uh, let's, let's say, objectives of Mahmoud Abbas. Uh, uh, government, uh, not that much, for example, the uh, reconnection to, to Hamas. This is something which can come later, may, maybe. The media has reported about an unspoken agreement between Israel and the Palestinian Authority to stop Hamas and boycott its regime in Gaza. Was an alliance established between Israel and Mahmoud Abbas? Abu Daya comments. I can't accept that to think that uh, Mahmoud Abbas and the, and the present Palestinian Authority in Ramallah can build a, 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 how you call it, an alliance or pact with the Israeli side. I mean, this is, this is absolutely impossible and this will be not be accepted by any Palestinian, by any Palestinian will be not accepted. There are major problems between Hamas and, and, uh, and uh, Fatah, this is very clear. Uh, uh, um, Hamas made a very dangerous uh, uh, move in, in, in Gaza by uh, occupying the Palestinian Authority. This can't be accepted by anybody. Second, indirect if you want, of course there is, there is um, some, some uh, uh, closer interest of Israeli and the Palestinian Authority to move forward now. So it looks like as if there is some kind of uh, of uh, sharing of interest now. The interview was conducted at the very moment that Abbas and Olmert met in Jericho. What do the Palestinians expect from the meeting? What are the possibilities of moving the peace process forward? And will the outcome result in a new political horizon remains to be seen. Expectation, the level of expectation of Palestinians is not that high. So they are not expecting uh, uh, very much from this meeting, but they hope so this is something different. They hope that uh, the discussion between uh, Olmert and Mahmoud Abbas will lead to the start, to the begin of, of serious negotiations on the major topics uh, and the major problems between Israelis and Palestinians, which means uh, the issue of settlements, the issue of Jerusalem, the issue of borders. And I think he is going in this meeting in order to give the people, his people, the hope and the belief that something is moving in this process. Both of them, uh, they, well, they would like to, to deal with the, with the daily problems of people, uh, which means the Palestinians are very much interested in, in lifting the, the closure, in, in removing uh, roadblocks, in, in giving much more people uh, permits to enter to Israel, either uh, for the workers or for the business, uh, for the business community. The main issue for Arnold, I think, he will be uh, talking with uh, Abbas about the issue of security, to which extent the Palestinian Authority and the Palestinian security forces are able to control the areas, and if they can, if they can uh, um, uh, withdraw the Israeli army from some of the Palestinian cities as as to start uh, going back to the borders of the 28th of September 2000. This Wednesday, Minister of Foreign Affairs Tsipi Livni will meet with the Palestinian Prime Minister Salam Fayyad in Jericho.